Let's look at the passage. Archaeologists and historians used to believe that the Maya civilization during its classic period lacked agricultural marketplaces. One reason, and already, sorry, used to believe, that's already sticking out to me. One reason for this belief was that these scholars misunderstood the ecology of the regions the Maya inhabited. Marketplaces typically emerge because different individuals or groups want to trade resources they control for resources they don't control. Scholars seriously underestimated the ecological diversity of the Maya landscape and thus assumed that... I guess, uh, hmm, underestimated the ecological diversity. So I'm kind of confused here. I guess I can go back. Uh, they believed that they lacked marketplaces. Um, the ecology marketplaces typically emerge because different individuals go on trade to the control. So I guess scholars seriously underestimated the ecological diversity and thus assumed that, I don't know, there was nothing to trade or something. There was nothing to trade. Right. So we're still kind of stuck in the old belief that we now know is wrong. It's weird how they're talking about this old belief, but it kind of still saying it's wrong by but forcing us to kind of consider it. Um, so I don't know. Let's look at the choices. Maybe we'll get more out of this than um, I've already got. Uh, da, da, da. The scholars seriously underestimated the ecological diversity of the Maya landscape and thus assumed that a marketplaces likely would not have attracted many traders from outside the regions controlled by the Maya. Well, outside the regions controlled the Maya, are we talking about other places, right? No, we're talking about marketplaces because different individuals want to trade resources they control for resources they don't. Seems like we're talking about the Maya themselves. I don't love that we're bringing in other people. Maybe that's okay. Remember, the logic questions sometimes allow us to bring in information from outside the passage, but I'm at least noticing it. Let's see if we can do better. B. Uh, did they assume that farming practices would have been largely the same throughout the Maya lands, even if the crops people produced varied significantly? Well, if the crops varied, that seems like the marketplace would be there, right? We would then have a diversity because there would be stuff to trade. So that makes no sense. But also just in a very simple way, largely the same. This is a quantifier. This is something, or maybe it's a comparison, however you want to think about it. But if if they're the same, then we're starting to quantify something and, and and I don't think they're talking about their agricultural practices. Certainly not enough to say that everyone's doing the same kind of farming. I, I just don't think it gets into that. So um, a lot of you are going to focus on the agricultural practices piece to this, but I do want to stress that the, the thing I'm always looking for is more like descriptive words, not nouns. The nouns may not be there, but the descriptive words help me understand what is happening between the nouns. And so for me, it was the largely the same that really just jumped off the page as something to be worried about and that I now see is wrong. C, marketplaces would not have enabled Maya people to acquire many products different from those they already produced. Yeah, because there was nothing to trade. Um, it's kind of annoyingly worded here, but notice that they're talking about, they are talking about number, right? So this, as I said, quantifiers are bad. Here, they're talking about quantifiers, right? But that's the whole point. The passage in this case is about quantifiers because we're saying that they either have a lot of stuff or they don't. And that determines whether or not there's a marketplace. So, so far, this is pretty good. I might be misreading it, so I'm a little nervous, but let's look at D. Uh, farmers would trade agricultural products only, that's a strong word, if they had already produced enough to meet their own needs. No, 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 no. It's not about like, oh, I'm already full, so here's my excess. The marketplace was not about having excess stuff. The marketplace was having a variety of stuff. So this is just not what they're talking about. I would be pretty confident here picking C without much more rereading. Uh, it is saying what we need to say is it's about the diversity of things, right? Um, they, they, there's many products that are different from those they already produced. So they're saying there wouldn't have been marketplaces because... Uh, da, da, da. Um, they emerge because of uh, different things wanting to trade for things that they don't have, right? So uh, they assume that Maya, the marketplaces would not have enabled Maya to acquire products different from those they already produced, meaning that they wouldn't have had a marketplace because there wasn't anything new to get at the market because they underestimated how diverse the place was. They thought, eh, Maya, they don't have anything. It's all the same thing, right? It's all, I don't know, the same kind of jungle plant or whatever. I don't know. So uh, they were wrong about that assumption, but that's what keeps underpinning this idea of the marketplace is that the, they thought they didn't have a lot of stuff, but they actually do. And we wouldn't have a marketplace if they all had the same stuff because then there'd be nothing to buy. Uh, annoying question, but I, I'd be pretty confident in this. Um, and going back to A, I'm just not convinced that they ever talked about people outside the Maya. So I, I kind of kept it in because I wasn't 100% sure. But when I see C, 
uh, it's just a better choice. So sometimes that's that's what happens, and no need to go back. I wasn't in love with A anyway, so pixie and move on. <laughs>